Oh, so today I have a really useful tutorial for you. So sometimes when you write a Python script, especially if it's for web scraping, for example, you might want to schedule it to run every uh, minute, every hour, every day, whatever it is. So a really good way to do it is we can put our Python script on EC2 and then run a cron job and have it run whatever interval we want it to. So, uh, so the Python script I'm going to be demoing for this, it's a Bitcoin web scraper. So we're using this uh, request library and it's going to this uh, URL and then we're going to just get the current price of Bitcoin at whatever time it is. And last you can see in the current directory it just outputs whatever the price of Bitcoin is when it was scraped. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to EC2. Go into your instances and just click launch instance. All right, next give your EC2 a name. I'm going to call it Python. Bitcoin scraper. Uh, select your image. I really like the Amazon Linux, uh, which has free tier and you can connect into it really easily. Uh, you don't even need the key pair to connect into it. So keep that one. Uh, T2 micro is fine for this. Uh, click create new key pair and just call it whatever test 22. Uh, save this. This is if you ever want to connect into it from your computer, you'll need this uh, key pair. And the rest of these settings I'll leave as is. So then just uh, launch launch your instance. Right, it looks like our instance launched. So let's go into it. Uh, we'll click on our instance ID and then just click on connect. Uh, so once you're in connect, we're going to connect to it through the AWS console. So just click connect again and it will establish a connection. And this is the nice thing about those Amazon uh, images. You can connect directly here. So first thing we need to do is go into the root user. So write sudo su. Now let's check if we have Python. So we do have uh, Python 3.9. So great. And uh, let's pip install. So really I just need requests for my um, scripts. So we'll pip install requests. All right, it looks like we need to install uh, pip. All right, so I'll try this sudo yum install Python 3 pip. Uh, and then press yes. And now that we have that, let's try this. Okay, it looks like our, it's already satisfied. Um, just to test it out, let's try installing something else, like maybe pandas. So you can see it, it, it works. All right, so we're going to make a new folder, uh, call it uh, crypto. So there's there's our new folder, and let's go into that folder. Now, to make a new file, we're going to make a new script. We'll call it Bitcoin scraper.py. We can write our script in here. So let's go back to this. I'm just going to copy this entire script and paste it in here. So this is a pretty good use case. Like if you have to web scrape something, you can run it in EC2. Uh, so I press the control S to save and then control X to, to exit out. Let's first run our script to just see if it, it works before we schedule anything or run any cron, cron job. Okay, so it looks like it printed the current price and it looks like we have a text file. Okay, so cat will show us what we have inside of that txt file. So let's run it again. So it's the same price and we'll run again cat bitcoin prices.txt. And now you can see there's two lines inside of there. Maybe if you're web scraping a lot of stuff, you might want to store it somewhere else like a S3 or uh, maybe you have a database like an RDS or there's a lot of options. Um, so now we know that everything's working with the Python script, we can get into the uh, cron job part of this. Right, now for our um, cron, cron job, before we do it, we need two things. One is the path for Python. So you can write which Python 3 and we get our path. So it should probably be the same one as here, but just to be safe, you can write which Python 3. Uh, the next thing is we need our path of our script. So for that, you can write uh, read link f uh, bitcoin scraper 
dot.py. All right, and you can see here is our path for our script. So we need these two paths for our cron job. To schedule a new cron job, you write cron tab dash e. Oh, I misspelled it. It's C R O N T A B dash E. So it looks like cron tab isn't working for me. So I'm going to try um, just to install it to make sure it's here. Okay, there we go. So you might need to install it. Just write sudo yum install crony. Okay, so what are cron jobs? Cron comes from Greek uh, chronos, which means uh, time. And when you create a cron job, you get these five uh, asterisks. And they each uh, represent a different uh, time, piece of the time. So for example, the first one is for minutes. The second one is for hours. This one is for day of month. Uh, this one is for month, and then this is for a day of week. So if you leave these all um, as stars like this, your script's going to run every um, every minute. If you made this uh, zero, it would run every hour. So let me write my cron job out. So this one is going to be running every single minute. Next, we need our path for our Python script. And then next, you want to include the path for your actual script that you're going to be running. So this is the full cron job. If you changed it like this, this would be every uh, five minutes. This one would run every day at 12 p.m. So you can think of it as the first one is saying when the minute is zero and when the hour is uh, 12 of the day. And it's for every day of the month, every month, every week. So this translates to every day at 12 p.m. Here's another example of one. So this zero represents uh, Sunday. And then the minute is zero, the hour is zero. Um, so you can think of this as running every, every time at uh, midnight of um, Sunday. So it runs every Sunday at midnight. All right, let's change it back to what i want since we're getting bitcoin prices i think i want it every minute so i'm going to copy this entire thing go back to our ec2 and paste it in here all right so we have uh, five stars we have our python script that we got earlier or our um, python address that we got earlier when we wrote which python and then we got our um also our path to the uh, bitcoin scraper okay so what I just typed was uh, escape, and then I typed uh, colon uh, WQ, and then I pressed enter. And that's how you um, save and quit your cron job. Now to confirm that our cron has been created, so we'll write cron tab. Cron tab, and then you put in dash L here, and you can see that our cron job is right here. So it is, um, we can confirm it's, it's running. So let's uh, wait a few minutes and just see if we have more entries in our text file. All right, so I was just checking what the price of Bitcoin is. The issue is not with the cron job, but instead an issue with the Python script. So I'm gonna go back in there and we need to fix the path. So when you uh, use the current directory path, it might not save the way we expect it. So I'm going to use this absolute path instead. And let's try this now. So this command is just to get the status. And there was just this other command I already ran, sudo, sudo system ctl start cron, just to start it. Uh, so everything should, when you check the status like this, Everything should say enabled and active and running. Hey, okay, yeah, it looks like it's now working. It's getting it every single minute. Now that I fixed the uh, text file path, I did make another mistake. 
because you can see that it's saved as a py file. So if we go back into Bitcoin scraper py, yeah, you can see that we're saving it as a py file. So let's just save it as a txt file instead. It's a bit weird to save it as a py file. So save that, exit, and let's wait one more minute and we should see some new entries. Okay, it's 634 now. So it should run. And yeah, so we have some latest price just ran at uh, 30, uh, 2234. Maybe uh, some time difference here, but you can see it is it is running now. So if I wait another minute, and yeah, you see one more price added. And on Google, it's saying 29,222. Uh, so it's pretty close to what I got from Google. All right, so there's a bunch of commands I used. I'm gonna post them all in the description uh, so you can see them all in one place.